got an iPad 12.9. I recently did a video on how to connect these uh, screens without damaging anything. And uh, here I am with an iPad 12.9 that apparently has no touch when it comes on. So here I've got it turning on. Let's see if we have touch when it comes all the way on. All right, and no touch whatsoever. Let's figure this out. All right, look what I found under my microscope. This filter here is definitely bad. It burned a hole right through the sticker here. Let's peel that sticker back and see if we can figure out what's wrong. Here, I'm gonna take a look at the schematic here. You can see that it goes from these pins through this filter and you can see it goes to a lot of things, including the PMIC. So yeah, this is important. Let's uh, let's go ahead and test it and uh, remove it. I'm sure that it's uh, obviously bad. So, do I get continuity across it? And no, I'm not getting any reading here with my multimeter. Let's test across it again like this, and nothing. All right, this component definitely needs to go. I'm gonna do a quick uh, inspection everywhere else to see if we have any issues that were downstream of that filter. Here's the filter and I don't see any signs of damage downstream at all whatsoever. I think that's probably all we're dealing with on that line. All right, let's add some flux. And take our soldering iron and I'm gonna go ahead and touch both sides with it. And oh, look at that. Half of it, it just broke in half with just a touch. We'll go in with our soldering iron again and let's see if we can pop off that second half. This one has a larger thermal mass behind it. So it does take a little bit more heat and let's get it off of that pad. And there we go. Let's uh, fluff up those pads. There we go, give them a little extra solder. There we go. Let's clean it up with some isopropyl alcohol. I've got a cleaner wipe here and my brush. There we go, nice and clean. Let's add some more flux. Get ourselves a new filter. And let's solder that in place. You can do this a couple ways. If you have soldering tweezers, then you can use those to put it in place. You can also do it kind of like this, where you touch the both sides at the same time with the iron tip and kind of get it to stay in place. Let's test that and make sure we've got continuity across that filter. And yep, I've got a good reading there as well here. Let's clean that up and uh, using our brush and isopropyl alcohol, put that sticker back. And I just noticed that there is another little dot on the sticker here. It's not as bad as the other one, but that component, it definitely looks a little bit burnt. I can actually see that there is a crack running down the middle of that. Let's test it and uh, no reading across it. And let's check for the pin and yeah, nothing. There is no continuity. All right, in the schematics, let's check out that component. And it's this one right here. Go to these three pins and yes, this is definitely going to be important. Let's go ahead and replace that as well. Add some flux. Touch it with our soldering iron. I'm gonna add some 138 solder to this to help it uh, in the removal. Get it nice and warm. You can actually see that crack running uh, horizontally with it. And there, we got it off. Let's uh, fluff up these, these pads, add some extra solder. There we go and get ourselves a new filter. 
and we'll kind of get it to sit somewhat in place with the soldering iron. And here's another method, take some hot air. You gotta be a little careful about burning the connector there, but I'm gonna take some hot air on it, and with that, with the solder being 138, it tends to flow into place. Let's test for continuity, and yep, I definitely have a reading across the filter there. And from the pad, so yep, let's clean it up. brush and isopropyl alcohol and let's plug it in and test it all right let's see if we have touched now that both of those filters have been replaced and look at that touch is back go ahead and delete that yep looks good another test that you can do is go ahead and try to power it off and we'll drag the power off touch bar around the screen and as long as it doesn't let go then uh, yeah we are good to go now we just need to close it up hope you learned something thanks a ton for watching we'll see you in the next video